Hey family, so dating, why you should not give up on the potential guy or girl until after date six. Here's my theory. Stay tuned. Alright family, so you know that I've been talking about dating and relationships on my entire channel. So uh, my theory is that when you first start dating someone that we just give up too soon. And so I think that if we give the person at least six dates, yes, I know that that sounds like a long time for somebody that maybe you're like, eh, about, right? However, research has actually shown that the couples that have the best relationships either start off as friends or they um, didn't really like each other as much in the very beginning but they kept going out with the person and it blossomed into something beautiful so my theory is to give the person at least six dates or six chances in order to prove themselves as well as you proving yourselves to them and this it absolutely goes for the person that you're kind of like eh. I mean I like them I mean you know maybe so if they're not just grotesque or just just making you want to puke when you're with them <laughs> right they're not the person that has the where you have the butterflies in your stomach when you first meet them it is absolutely okay those are the relationships where it says that the love builds and it becomes a stronger relationship so I have five tips on why you should give it up to the six dates before you walk away vamoosh gone forever from the person all right all right so one of the first reasons why you want to go out on at least six dates is because you are giving the person um, an opportunity to open up to you and for you to open up to that person so some of the things that they do on the first dates those little nervous ticks that we sometimes get that we're doing on the first one two even three dates will start to dissipate the uh, more you see this person so it gives you more opportunities to see the real person shine through all right, so the second reason is that your nerves start to decrease or at some point disappear when you are with a new person all right so at least six dates the nervous level starts to go down because you're starting to understand and get to know that person number three the sparks and or butterflies that I mentioned earlier in the video they will come at a later date so just give it a chance to work out number four the comfortability level between you two is now starting to build that much more the uh, again your nerves are going down you are more excited to see this person you guys are um, talking more and more you're getting to know more and more about this person you're actually finding yourself saying hmm I actually want to see this person or I haven't talked to this person today again you're just letting it build upon each other because all relationships really take time to build and get to that level where you are super comfortable with them you can kind of let down your hair you can be ugly in front of them right they can see you without makeup they can see you without hair they can see you at your roughest and still be like oh that's my baby right so that's what you that's what you want really that's what you want you want them to still look at you at your ugliest or at least that you feel your ugliest and they still say that's my baby now it's not going to happen after six days, but you get my drift. Like as the as the uh, as the relationship matures more and more, you are starting to feel more comfortable with this person. You're starting to let down your guard with this person. You find yourself wondering more and more about this person. You want to receive and understand and get more information about this person. The fifth and final reason is that you actually give yourself and the other person a chance to get past the superficial portions of YouTube and um, of, of how you guys met and the superficial conversations. The conversations are starting to get a little bit more deep. You're starting to understand some of the things that are occurring with one another. Maybe you've even asked a couple of your deal breaker questions at this time. There are so many things that would be in your benefit from giving this person at least six dates, giving them your time, energy, and effort, being present in the moment the entire time that you are with this person, you will see nothing but benefits upon benefits with giving the person um, more time to get to know you. And also, you can see if you can rule this person out because the more time that you spend with this person, the more you're going to get to see some of those um, 
those annoying traits that they might have or annoying characteristics they, that they might have and then you have to see if this is something that you would be able to live with because the more time that we spend around one another that is how we get to know each other better so again at least six dates this is my own theory there is no research behind this but I do know that when people meet each other this is not all the time right but a lot of these successful couples they actually said that they don't or that one of the parties was not interested 100% in the other person actually I have a um, my brother who's been married for years uh, his wife actually said in the very beginning she was basically like eh, I mean he's cool and now uh, they've been married for 15 years and I, that's not even the dating phase they've been married for 15 years they have three children they're actually happy so yes it absolutely can happen actually even in my own <laughs> relationship I, I told you guys before I really didn't think that my fiance was interested in me he was kind of you know I was interested in him but it wasn't like I didn't have the butterflies either and now I'm like that that's to the other women that face that's to the other women right back it up Boo. <laughs> Back it up, boo. Okay. <laughs> Anywho, I hope that these tips have helped you out. At least give the person uh, six dates or six opportunities to prove or at least in, um, increase the chances so you two can click on a higher level past the superficial. The comfortability will go up between you two. The stress levels will actually decrease. You'll find yourself wanting to be in this person's company. Company, really? You'll find yourself wanting to be in this person's company more and more. You wanting to know more and more about this person. And then all of a sudden, y'all in a seriously happy, healthy, romantic relationship. And maybe even one day, you're going to walk down the aisle and think of me and think of this video and say, you know what? I'm glad I went out on date number six. I'm glad I did that. I'm glad I gave this person a chance because my life is so much better for it. All right? Give me thumbs up if you like this video. Of course, subscribe if this is your very first time here because here at I Love Me Me Me, I'm supplying you guys with all of the tips and tools in order to have happy, healthy, romantic relationships so we can decrease that divorce rate. I will see you in another video. Deuces.